Dwayne here, Phoenix Typewriter. Back with the Skyrider. The Skyrider. We're going to just go ahead and not replace, but we're going to flip the pad that's underneath the type bars here. It literally fell off on me when I was working on it. There it is right there. And that's the way it goes. It's got these heavy, heavy grooves. In fact, it's even cut in there. So we're going to take this and we're just going to flip it like this and use this side right here, just like that. The only trouble is this side isn't very flat to glue it down with all those ridges, but I think it'll work. So, first thing to do, get these tight bars out, out of the way by just getting them up and then I'm going to put a rubber band around them like this. <clears throat> Secure those so we got a nice basket edge here and I'm going to clean that rag, a clean rag and make sure that's very very clean so the uh, I'm going to use contact cement on this it's coming off pretty dirty so let's do that a few times here and then get that cleaned up good so it's got a good uh, surface glue too look at it it's still coming off it's probably somewhat of it's probably the paint I suppose but let's just uh, let's do this just one more time here like that and dry it off real quick and we're just going to apply some <coughs> liberal amount of contact cement this stuff is pretty pretty good head well wood contact cement uh, see, I see some more dirt here I want to try to wipe off. This angle here. But yeah, that's, that's pretty clean now. Okay, I'm going to try to get this without spilling any. Not making a mess. One, two. Get that down. I'm gonna try to get quite a bit on here to compensate for the uh, unevenness of the typewriter pad portion. I do is wiggle it into the a little bit over there. Oh. One more, <clears throat> one more quick chunk of it. Let's see. So, uh, in here, kind of make sure it's pretty thick. And then you gotta let this dry for I don't know about 15 minutes, maybe, maybe less. It's a little cool today, so maybe a little more. When it's hot here in the summer, the stuff is ready to work in about five minutes. Just like that. <clears throat> so we're going to put that aside and we're going to put some on the back of this. Even though uh, it's not going to adhere very well. I did clean this up a little bit. Let's see if we can get some on here and work it in here a little bit. Definitely gonna 
get this to stick together and then it'll be a pretty permanent fix and you don't have to do anything else. This is that machine that I put the draw band on and had the return arm all bent like crazy and I think I've got everything pretty much working on this. No, that's going to be a survivor. Oops. <clears throat> Just a little more. Let this dry. I'll come back over and do kind of soaked in here and let's see if we can get to a little, a little more. And uh, make sure we've got a liberal amount on here. And should be able to make this pad work again. Okay, I let this dry a little bit. Let's put it in. So no wait, let's so it was in the machine this way. I want it to go back in this way. So just want to remember which way. So this isn't quite as dry as I would like, but I think it's dry enough to stick. Let's stick it down here if it's not super dry, you'll have a chance to reposition it if needed. And like I do need to reposition it. Look, it's gonna come this way a little bit. Pretty sticky. Push it. Push it and get it right the way I want it. <coughs> All right. Looking. Go down here just a little bit. back on here. That looks pretty good. Alright. Yeah, looks good. Alright. Pink Starpreter, good day.